Hey guys, I have a little haul. Um, I haven't bought makeup in a quite a while, and um, Wet n Wild has a bunch of new stuff out, so I splurged and got a few things. Um, they're cheap, so like I uh, justified it with that, but. Um, and I did get a L'Oreal eyeshadow because they were on sale. The one uh, infallible one that I didn't have yet, which is the Amber Rush one. It's so pretty. It's like a coppery amber color. Um, I've already used it, so it's got a smear in it. But these are so pigmented and awesome. I can't stress enough how much I love these. Uh, I have a swatch on this hand that I don't want to show you yet, so... This is what it looks like. One swipe. It's a crazy... I'll move my light over so you can see better. I was looking at the, the daylight makeup mirrors in Bed Bath & Beyond and they're like, the one I want is a hundred bucks and I can't afford that right now, but my lighting has been so crappy in my videos, I'm just praying that when I move I will be right in front, I, I can set up my makeup setup like right in front of a window so I'll have daylight and hopefully that'll help my light until I can get one of those mirrors <laughs> but, um, for the wet and wild stuff. Uh, my Rite Aid only got four of the, the new single eyeshadows in for some reason. I don't know if they're gonna get more but um, what was I saying? They got, they have these juicy lip balms it was three of these. I don't know if there's more than this, but um, they're only slightly tinted. They're not really. This one is. Uh, uh, what is this one? Raspberry. And this one kind of just smells like wax. Not my favorite one. It's just got a slight tint, but they're like jumbo ones. Like Wet n Wild used to have big ones like this. And then they got rid of them when they like revamped their whole line. <laughs> Hiccups. Then there's strawberry, which this one's really nice. I like the formula of these. They're um, I've used all of them already. They're very moisturizing. I will give them that. Strawberry is barely there, just a light, light pink. And then my favorite one. Uh, is the cherry which is it's a red one smells and tastes exactly like cherry chapstick which is my favorite chapstick and it gives your lips a red tint that's probably the most pigmented out of all of them but I mean it's a lip balm so you're not gonna get a lot of color anyway um what next I guess I'll do the lipstick I got one of the new lipsticks in dollhouse pink which is crazy. It's such a bright pretty pink and I'm it's coming up more like a lavender on my camera for some reason but this is like this is probably the brightest pink I own. I want to say it's almost an exact dupe for Candy Yum Yum which is one of the limited edition MAC lipsticks that I wanted so bad and it sold out and I couldn't get it. Um, and that this is the Dollhouse Pink Wet n Wild this is Pink Friday by Nick, uh, by Nicki Minaj. The MAC Pink Friday Limited Edition, li I cannot talk, Limited Edition Nicki Minaj, which is, was up until now the brightest pink I had. That's why I swatched them together. I thought they'd be similar. And as you can see, the Dollhouse Pink one is way brighter. So, I mean, I want to say that's close to Candy Yum Yum because it was a crazy intense bright pink. It's on my, um, the Dollhouse Pink is on my lips too. Don't know how well it's going to show up, but I love it. That uh, I love this color, especially for summertime. It's going to be so much fun. So that is that one again. Dollhouse Pink, highly recommended, especially if you missed out on the Candy Yum Yum, because this is very, very close, and I'm excited. Um, so the eyeshadows I wasn't that excited about, because I've seen a lot of reviews on them and swatches and stuff. They, uh... There was only four that I could find, so that's what I got. Um, the Panther, I don't know why I got this, it's just a matte black. Um, pretty decent pigmentation. 
nice dark matte black. Uh, we'll do one swipe. It's a little bit chalky. We'll say that. Um, kind of stains too, which that's probably a good thing because it means it's going to stay on good. Then we've got Trashed, which is a black with... It looks like silver glitter now, but in the store it looked like it was rainbow glitter. I don't know, it's one of those weird glitters that in different lights it looks different. And this one is very, it's a different texture than the other ones, it's very dry. So it's not as pigmented a black as the other one. I guess it is silver glitter. That's the uh, trashed one. Hopefully you can see the glitter. It is pretty, but it's not, it's got a weird texture. Um, platinum, it looks like a silver with silver glitter, but it comes out more of a gray when you swatch it. And it's not, I'll try using a finger that's not, this one's not that pigmented. Probably the least out of the four that I got. I don't have a base or anything on my hand. I don't like putting bases on when I'm doing swatches just so you can see actually how pigmented it is without a base. And then Sellout, which is probably the prettiest one. Um, it's pink with like pink glitter in it. I think most of the new ones have some glitter in them. Except for that matte black, of course. Um, but this one's pretty. It's like a candy pink with, uh, like I said, pink glitter in it. <laughs> Can't really see the glitter because the light sucks, but, um, and that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I want to look at the lipsticks better and see the new ones. All the new colors kind of looked kind of boring to me, except for this crazy one. I was so excited when I saw it because I was like, that looks like the candy yum yum one that I missed out on, so I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of use out of that lipstick. Um, I don't know why I've loved bright pinks lately. I was a nude, nude lipstick lover for so long, and now when I put the nude colors on, like, some of them just look too nude, and I'm like, why did I like this lipstick so much? Like, uh, Myth from MAC, that just, to me, it makes me look like I'm dead now when I wear that, so, um, sorry, I'm trying to get all the swatches off of me, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon. Hey guys, this is the next day from the haul that I just showed, so I figured it's only a couple things, I'm just gonna tag it on to the end of this, of uh, the last video, so it'll just be one bigger video. Um, all the Yes to Carrot stuff, I think it was all of it at, um, Rite Aid was clearance for 75% off, so I had been wanting to try one of the lip butters for a while, and I got the, um, berry one. Just looks like that. Um, it has a very light, not really strawberry, but it kind of smells like raspberry, but it's really, really nice on your lips, very hydrating and moisturizing. Um, I actually, I don't, I've been liking this better than chapstick actually. <laughs> uh, so that's really thumbs up in my book, but I hope they're not going to stop making it and that's why they're getting rid of it. Because that would be my luck. Um, I got another one of the Wet n Wild matte lipsticks because I was looking through the colors again and trying to find another fun one like the, uh, I forgot what the name of the other one was, the dollhouse pink one that I showed in the last one. And I found one that, it's a little bit darker than that color, but it's still bright and fun for summertime. Um, this one is Don't Blink Pink. And, like I said, it's a little darker, but it's still, when I do the swatch, it's a really bright, fun pink. And I love these because they're so, they're like crazy opaque. Um, they are a little bit drying, the Wet n Wild matte lipsticks, but I usually end up putting a clear gloss over them anyway, so that helps. Or even just put a lip balm on, like the, the Yes to Carrots one before, 
the uh, before you put the matte lipsticks on and that kind of helps and then they have Wet n Wild again has these new lipsticks um, they look like this they're in like black packaging with a clear top I will say the uh, they have like tape wrapped around the bottom of the packaging which is a pain in the ass to get off and then it leaves the tube all sticky so I don't like that um, but these are called Mega Shield lip color and it has SPF 15 in it and the one I got is within these adobe walls it's kind of like a dusty pink color and these are very different from the matte lipsticks these are a very creamy formula um, but you do get a lot of product in there I mean you can see the whole thing in there um, <laughs> let me get it back down now and I'll swatch it for you but yeah very creamy that's that one right there um, I know there wasn't very many fun colors in this line uh, the uh, what are they called again the mega shield um, I did, this was the only pinkish color I saw. They're mostly reds and browns and, uh, neutral colors. Uh, I totally lost what I was going to say. Um, I was wearing it earlier today. It feels very creamy and moisturizing when you first put it on, but again, like the matte lipsticks, it's kind of drying after a while, which is weird to me because it's, it just looks creamy in the container, and I figured it would be a very creamy moisturizing formula but it is pretty good the wear time isn't that great maybe like an hour and a half I think before I had to touch it up but it's decent I mean it was I don't remember if this one was $1.99 or $2.99 but I I like it um, I mean, I'd recommend at least try one of them out and see how you like it um, if they had more fun colors I would, probably would have gotten a, another one but that was the only one I really liked out of all of them, so I think that's it. Um, safe to say I got enough damn lip balms. I just realized that I bought the, this Yes to Carrots one today, and I had the three in that other one, the uh, big, what are these called? Uh, Wet n Wild Juicy Lip Balms. I forgot to mention, those have SPF 15 too. But yeah, um, I might end up taking the... Uh, raspberry one back just because I it really has no scent or anything so and I don't really need three of them I don't know why I bought three of them but I like the strawberry and cherry one they're very moisturizing so that's it for now I'm gonna shut up because I'm just blabbering um, I don't think I had anything else to talk about but I'll shut up <laughs> that's it and I'll talk to you guys later